Words so tender can be spoken so bravely, unless they are true from the truest of words. Now, that poem is a little bit of a tongue twister, right? And it doesn't quite say what this card means. What this card is actually talking about is how words are indeed spells. And they're asking what you are casting. What kind of stories have you told? To yourself, specifically. They really are highlighting on your inner monologue. But what are you speaking on to others? What are you speaking to yourself? What kind of stories are you telling the world? All that is to lead up to our spread, which is actually about your intuition. So your intuition is kind of like being ignored right now, and it has something to say. So let's get to the spread. Uh, we are going to be using the Crystal Power Tarot deck for this. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good shuffle, and then we will lay the cards and see what it says. Third time is a charm. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, with this spread, there is an optional sixth card. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and draw it. All right. Notice that everything is reversed. That is because we are missing this call. It isn't that everything is corrupt. It's that it's being missed. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip all of these over. It appears that you have been accepting less than you deserve. And you've been ignoring your intuition on how people are treating you. Uh, your intuition has been kind of kicking in and being like, hey, look, this isn't right. Uh, this behavior is a red flag. The way that they're treating you is a red flag. Um, so let's get into kind of like why that is going on. So the reason why you've been ignoring this is the five of pentacles here. And I want you to specifically pay attention to the affirmation. I'm supported and never alone. Okay, so what's been going on here is essentially in an attempt to not be lonely, you've been settling for less than you deserve. And it's also kind of in an attempt to get the perfect story. Now, I can see that you've been kind of relying on your strength. What I'm picking up on is that, like, you know, you're thinking, oh, I can deal with this. and Oh, I can be strong. And uh, thinking that maybe relationships, you kind of have to put up a fight. But no, it does not have to be that way. So we need to kind of release ourselves from these traps that we've set in this, uh, essentially this low value that we have placed on how we are to be treated. Now, if you were to ignore your intuition, that's what this card here, I went ahead and pulled that optional six card. It's going to end either way. Whenever these relationships are just obviously not right, they're either an experience or a lesson. <laughs> so, you know, they will go ahead and end on their own. But if they end on their own, like on the death card, there's going to be mourning. It's going to be painful. You're, it's not going to feel fair and you're not going to like it. But if you can let go of this stuff on your own terms and kind of change your inner monologue on how we treat ourselves then this will sort itself out. Also, uh, like, I think it's about three or four generations back is what, is what they're showing me. Uh, it's a grandmother figure that is coming through. You guys live very similar lives, and they are with you often because of that. You remind them a lot of themselves. But they are kind of letting me, they're showing me this little story of a time that they were, they were kind of like spouting out possibilities of outcomes and none, none of those things would have happened if they hadn't said it is what they're showing me. And they don't want the same thing to happen to you. They don't want that same outcome for you. So they're, they're, they're saying to, uh, make sure that you are kind of keeping those thoughts inside and not sharing them with others, especially via spoken word, uh, that, that is making them happen and you can actually speak yourself into some kind of bad situations.